Moving right along, we've got a first-time encounter between the ultimate athlete, Mark Angel, and one of the veteran members of the Beyond Wrestling roster, Anthony Stone. Now, back in developmental hell, Nick Talent and Anthony Stone got into a confrontation, but they settled their differences in the ring. And since then, Nick Talent has been training under the tutelage of Anthony Stone. They were successful both in the main event at Developmental Hell and on the first day of the Gospel of the Boards taping. Unfortunately, Anthony Stone unable to compete at the second day of the Gospel of the Boards taping, and that was when Nick Talent was injured by Chris Dickinson. Nick Talent had nobody to watch his match. Now even still, Nick Talent made it a point to come out to the World of Hurt taping this weekend, even though he was not medically cleared to compete, just to show his support for the other members of the Beyond Wrestling roster. Well, the Pit Boss tried to goad him into a match, only to cause more damage. Again, the Doom Patrol has no concern for the well-being of any of their opponents or anybody else on the Beyond Wrestling roster. When that man right there, Mark Angel, came to defend Nick Talent. Well, Anthony Stone is here for the second day of the World of Hurt taping, and Nick Talent has suggested that Anthony Stone compete against Mark Angel to test him to see if he's good enough to join up with their ranks. I'll tell you what, all three of these guys share one thing in common. They're all tremendous athletes. You gotta think though, Anthony Stone being the veteran, he's gonna have more of an advantage over Mark Angel going into this contest, just, just due to sheer experience. But then again, Mark Angel, quite the powerful athlete. I really want the best view available. Well, Nick Talent, again, he's not medically cleared to compete, but looks like he wants to officiate this match. I don't see any problem with that. The wrestlers don't see any problem with that. Looks like we've got a special guest referee for this contest. Well, Nick Talent, not a lot of experience as a referee. He wants to be as close to the action as possible to see how his partner squares up against Somebody that might join the ranks of Nick Talent and Anthony Stone and Mark Angel. Now Mark Angel, a very impressive debut at the Gospel of the Boards taping, knocking off Josh Thor. Again, being able to defeat the pit boss yesterday, trying to keep that undefeated streak going, trying to build more momentum as he climbs up the ranks here in Beyond Wrestling. Again, he's going to have to get past Anthony Stone. Somebody who's been competing for close to a decade in the New England scene, using Beyond Wrestling as his vehicle to break out. Again, look at the strength of Anthony Stone, able to just use the strength of his neck to bridge out of that pinning combination. Mark Angel, though, he's proven to be so powerful, just squeezing the head of Anthony Stone with that side headlock. Although Anthony Stone, to his credit, able to find a counter. Now just trying to bend the arm to use leverage to take Mark Angel down. And able to do just that by bringing himself down to the mat and still able to maintain hold on Mark Angel. Now transitioning to that front face lock, making sure to keep the larger opponent grounded. But again, you got to think Mark Angel is going to be looking to use that, that power, that strength to his advantage. Again, just powering away right here. Able to find that separation. And look at that! The way he was just able to muscle Anthony Stone over with that headlock takeover. Again, such a strong competitor is Mark Angel. Again, give Anthony Stone credit. So far, the action has been back and forth. These two more evenly matched than it may appear on paper. Mark Angel trying to power his way out once again, but Anthony Stone able to maintain the hold. Again, the head scissors still applied. Mark Angel unable to free himself from this predicament. But take a look again, the power on display. Just able to lift his opponent right from the ground. Anthony Stone going for that pin, unable to get it. Mark Angel wisely going to that conservative hold in the side headlock. And Nick Talent making sure that Anthony Stone isn't being pinned. Checking both shoulders. As you see, the far shoulder is off the mat. Wise officiating from Nick Talent. Stone now trying to power back up to his feet. Going to be looking for separation, but just gets mowed over with that shoulder tackle. Trying to trip up Angel, but instead Angel putting on the brakes and again going to that side headlock. Get a hold like this, you're going to be doing everything that you can to try and wear down your opponent and plan out your next offensive maneuver. But it is a very easy hold to counter. 
And there we see Stone put on a side headlock and taking Angel down with a headlock takeover of his own. Fucking Angel just so big. No issue keeping his shoulders off the mat. And in fact, trying to roll Anthony Stone right out of the ring. Stone comes charged in, going for that Enziguri. Angel able to duck out of the way. And he just kills him with a German suplex right into the corner. Take a look at take a look at that from the wheelbarrow position. And Anthony Stone hitting the back of his head and then getting dropped with that power bomb in the center of the ring. But take a look. Anthony Stone not giving up just yet. Emphatically kicking out of that pinning combination. Regardless, Mark Angel the first up to his feet and putting Anthony Stone back in a position for a pin. Anthony Stone is so resilient. Mark Angel, something else in mind. Looks like he's slamming Anthony Stone to position. Now looking to leap back into the ring. Misses with that senton. Anthony Stone had that scouted. Stone somehow finding the energy to get back up to his feet, but just like that, taken out of action with that tilt a world backbreaker. Is that going to do it? No. And again, you hear other wrestlers on ringside coming to the support of Anthony Stone. But Mark Angel still firmly in control, just chopping away at the chest. And again, and we've described Mark Angel as somewhat of a hybrid wrestler. I mean, so far we've seen that this guy can do it all. He can get it done on the mat. He can throw his opponents around with the greatest of ease. Very agile, but not quick enough to get out of the way of that elbow. Take a look at that. In one motion, able to spring up to that top rope and connect with the elbow on his opponent. Now just trying to muscle Mark Angel up to the mat, but again, that was a mistake from Anthony Stone. And Anthony Stone now caught with that bridging German suplex. So far, we've seen Mark Angel connect with two German suplexes in this match. Both the one into the corner and that bridging variation. But Anthony Stone is still alive in this contest. Now Mark Angel just dragging his opponent. When you control the head, you control the rest of the body. That's what he was able to do. Set up Anthony Stone in position just to drop the knee. Again, going for the pin. Had the leg hook and the leg grapevine, but Anthony Stone, still too much gas left in the tank. Not ready to give it up just yet. Give Mark Angel credit though. He's not getting frustrated. He's able to remain focused and continue the attack. But Anthony Stone, again, the veteran, just has so many counters. Coming off the ropes. Oh, and just caught with that spine buster. Is that going to do it? No. Let's see if we can take another look at that right there. Mark Angel surprised that that wasn't enough to put away Anthony Stone. Can look at the elevation. And then just the impact driving the back of his head down to the mat. Mark Angel with a kick for good measure. Again, just muscling up Anthony Stone. Stone struggling to get out of this position, but driven down again. Spine first with that power slam. Stone again managing to get the shoulders off the mat. It's been a very physical contest so far. Anthony Stone with a kick to his chest. Now again, Mark Angel is going to be looking to show off that agility. Anthony Stone again had that scouted, but couldn't get out of the way of the moonsault that time. Again, Anthony Stone making sure to do his homework. You're going to wonder if Mark Angel was able to hit that moonsault as part of the sequence as we've seen him do in the past, if he would have been able to put Anthony Stone away at that point. But just continuing the onslaught right here. Again, just firing away in the corner, now looking to send him across the ring. This time Stone's able to get a boot up. And look at the way that he's able to nail the monkey flip from off the top rope. A bad landing for Mark Angel. And now it's Angel who's looking for separation by trying to go to the outside to regroup. Oh, caught with that spinning kick to the midsection. And that kick right to the face. Mark Angel able to move out of the way of that kick. Now he's just dragging his opponent to the floor. And look at the elevation on that double underhook backbreaker. He just killed him on the outside. And the wrestler's coming alive. Again, not only the impact of coming down on the knee, but you got to remember Anthony Stone landing bad on the floor as well. Talk about two for the price of one. Is Mark Angel taking too much time to get his opponent in the ring? Well, he had the arm and the leg hooked. But Anthony Stone still able to get that left shoulder off the mat. 
And again, you're not going to find too many members of the Beyond Wrestling roster as resilient as Anthony Stone. This guy will be fighting back until he is knocked out. Looking to go for that elbow again, though. Taking too much time, just hesitated. Now again, caught in that waist lock, but able to counter. Able to get his hands up and block the impact. Went for Angel to get back up to his feet. Now going. Looks like he's able to get that front face lock. Now he's got that front choke on. Again, he's got that guillotine choke on. Not, not really a choke, even though that's what it's described as. Trying to cut off the blood flow to the brain to try and put his opponent to sleep. Nick Talent needs to make sure, though, that that arm is not coming across the throat to block off the air passage. That's when that maneuver becomes illegal. But again, the power on display and another spine buster from Mark Angel. And a lackadaisical cover, though. Not enough to pick up the victory. Again, even when Anthony Stone makes a mistake, it's so incredible how he's able to recover. And again, Mark Angel not able to land that German suplex. Gets caught with an enziguri. Now remember, Angel was able to hit two German suplexes earlier on in the contest. One into the corner and one in the bridging variation. But he has not found any success with that release variation. See, the first time... And then the second time, just the agility out of Anthony Stone, able to block the impact both times, able to connect with the Enziguri, and it looks like Stone's back up to his feet first. Again, using his speed to duck out of the way of Angel's clothesline attempt, able to take him off his feet with an elbow, and again, another shot right to the head. Anthony Stone really building momentum for the first time in this contest. The action has been back and forth throughout this bout. But this is where the veteran needs to capitalize. Oh, but that reversal just gets sent hard into the corner. Again, able to get the foot up. I mean, Angel looks lost right here. But now look at the way he's got the arm trapped. And finally able to connect with that variation of the German suplex. This time able to capture the arm. No way for Anthony Stone to be able to counter. He couldn't get his hands up. Is this going to be a... But look at the rookie mistake out of Mark Angel. Did not take the time to bring Anthony Stone to the center of the ring. Anthony Stone did not have to exert the energy to kick out. Just able to get his foot on the rope. But damn, look at the impact of that German suplex. And Anthony Stone, he's out of it right here. He can't even get back up to his feet, even with the assistance of his opponent. But again, Mark Angel looking to inflict more damage onto his opponent. And you know, that's one of the flaws of the power strategy is you usually have to have your opponent at a vertical base in order to fire back. I mean, in my opinion, when you've got your opponent on the mat, you should be able to adapt to that and beat him without having to bring him back up. Because see, that was a mistake right there. Anthony Stone again able to take the advantage, connecting with that STO to the back of the head. Again, connecting with that shot right at the base of the neck and driving his opponent down with that leg sweep. But Mark Angel's not ready to quit. I mean, these guys have been brutalizing each other for the better part of 10 minutes right now. Such a physical contest between two gifted athletes. The type of match you're only going to see at Beyond Wrestling. Look at this counter from Mark Angel. Just using his weight to sit down to block the O'Connor roll attempt from Anthony Stone. Something like that. It's so, so simple. The Angel, I mean, he's still stumbling, stumbling around. Again, just trying to muscle Anthony Stone over. Just a body slam, and that's not going to be enough to put him away. It, it, you know, Mark Angel... As I said, he stayed focused in the earlier moments of this contest, but he's really lost his concentration right here. And that's something that you can only gain through experience. Mark Angel, you know, as, as, this, as this contest goes on, I'd have to say that both guys are evenly conditioned, but it may even work against Mark Angel, the fact that he's carrying so much weight. But even still, Anthony Stone, I mean, he's had plenty of matches like this where it's basically the bottom of the ninth. You know, he's got his back against the wall and it's do or die. Anthony Stone, just the way he's able to drive his opponent down to the mat off that second rope. Mark Angel landing hard. And Anthony Stone looking to fly. Connects with that cross body. Angel's able to roll through and like it's nothing. Picking him up off the mat, powering him onto his shoulders. What a display of power. But again, the agility and the veteran wherewithal of Anthony Stone able to find a DDT counter out of that Death Valley driver attempt. That's what Mark Angel has been putting his opponents away with in Beyond Wrestling. So he pops his opponents off the shoulder from that fireman carry position and takes them down with a neck breaker. Nick Talent can't even believe it right here. He's seeing two of his allies lay it all out in the ring just to prove who the best competitor is. No bad blood, nothing but respect. 
And that's what we like to see at Beyond Wrestling. We don't like to see any of the antics of the Doom Patrol trying to hurt each other. Hurt each other. Put together members of the Beyond Wrestling roster. Put guys out of commission. Try and injure them. Take away their wrestling career. We want to see two skilled athletes lay it all on the line just so that once the bell counts to three, we know who's the best. The backslide attempt. Anthony Stone just able to kick out. And Mark Angel able to get out of the inside cradle. Again, these guys have been going hold for hold. The Hurricane Rana attempt countered with another power bomb. But look at that, Anthony Stone able to pop him in the face, able to reverse the momentum. And again, these guys are the actions back and forth so fast, I can't even call it. And this late in the match, that really is a credit to the conditioning of both men. But again, the power. Look at that, Anthony Stone not even just taking off his feet, unable to get that backslide hooked. Now, Anthony Stone has got that arm hooked. Firing away with the left hand, but he gets caught in a fireman's carry. And look at this clutch, the hands are locked. Mark Angel picking up a victory over Anthony Stone. An incredible, again, an incredible use of its strength to, in order to put on a pinning combination that even the veteran Anthony Stone could not escape. Again, look at that, able to move out of that attempt of a shot with the left hand. And just, again, look at the bridge and look at the way that his arms were locked. There was no way Anthony Stone was getting out of that. Even as resilient as he is, even with as much energy as he had left. Hey, you gotta be impressed with Mark Angel. This guy's incredible thus far in Beyond Wrestling. Now picking up his third victory, going 3-0 so far. And even able to knock off a veteran like Anthony Stone. And look, he's earned his respect. He's earned the respect of both Nick Talent and Anthony Stone this weekend. And this could be the beginning of an allegiance between these three men. Again, all of them bonded by their conditioning. All these guys spending plenty of hours in the gym. But hey, these guys are no slouches in the ring either. And this is a, a trio that I hope to see more combinations out of in the future. And I mean, that's what we need in Beyond Wrestling. We need alliances to be able to take down the Doom Patrol. And there you hear it, if, if it wasn't clear before, the verbal endorsement from Anthony Stone. Mark Angel picking up the victory at World of Hurt. 